The Bible teaches that the earth was specially designed by God to be inhabited. The earth is ideally placed in the galaxy to protect us from harmful radiation. If the earth were in the center of the galaxy or stuck in a globular cluster outside the galaxy, radiation would be a real problem. The earth is also the right distance from the warming rays of the sun. Our world is neither too hot nor too cold. Even the tilt of the earth seems ideal to regulate heat. If the tilt were increased significantly, summers would be too hot and winters too cold. If the tilt were decreased, the equator would be too hot and the poles too cold. The Earth's mass determines the strength of its gravity. Unlike Mercury, our Earth is big enough to hold on to life-sustaining gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, but not so big that it is a toxic, gaseous giant like Jupiter. Life requires liquid water. Our planet sits just the right distance from the sun for water to flow as a liquid. In fact, three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered in liquid water. No other planet is known to have this essential ingredient of life. The Earth has just the right chemicals for life. About 99% of the universe is made of hydrogen and helium, but the Earth is different. It's made of heavier elements which can form compounds essential for life. The Earth has a large moon, which keeps the oceans from stagnating, and a magnetic field, which shields us from harmful radiation. The Earth appears to be an engineering marvel, crafted for life, the stage for unfolding God's glorious plan to dwell with man.